are at least four enemies I want to mention to you quickly this morning. We speak of the devil. You just drop the D and you got evil. And man by himself is evil and wicked. But the Bible says what is the root of all evil? The love of money, isn't it? And let's read it, if you will. 1 Timothy 6, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. The love of money. Folks, a whole lot can be done with money. Nothing wrong with money. The Lord blessed King Solomon to be the richest man I suppose that ever lived. Abraham was a rich man. But Abraham gave his tithe, didn't he, to the Lord. Now, I'm going to read to you again. The Lord said, the love of money is the root of all evil. I've heard, heard people say before about certain individuals said they'd sell their soul in hell for money. Judas Iscariot did that, didn't he? 30 pieces of silver. So, evil begins with the love of money. And then Satan, of course, is the number one culprit. He is our enemy. He appears to us in many forms. The Bible says he masks himself. He even appears as an angel of righteousness. People, the, the uh, comedians and what have you, they make fun of the devil and they picture him with a forked tail and what he. <laughs> no, he's not that easily recognized. The Bible says he's a liar, the father of liars. The truth's not in him. Folk, he'll deceive you and destroy you if you let him. You get to make the calls. Satan is God's enemy. We learned that way back in the book of Genesis. That he was a deceiver. But then the, the third thing I'll mention, the third enemy is the world. And folks, the world has a lot out there to offer. Brother Bobby was sharing with me this morning early over here about a friend of his that was in a wealthy family. But he died this week. Let drugs destroy him. Literally took his life from him. And I saw this week where well, they had one of the biggest catches of drugs ever coming across the southern border down the way. Fentanyl, am I right? Is that what they call it? An opioid that a lot of people OD on. And folks, it's alarming when you look at the figures across the nation, how many people died last year? Self-destruct. And folks, that's for eternity. You don't get another shot. That's final. Folks, I'm for building a wall down on the south part. If it'll keep drugs from coming in here, it won't keep Satan from having his day. But anything we can do to keep people from destroying themselves, 
I said, if it will do it. That's a big question, isn't it? But the fourth enemy I want to call your attention to, you saw him this morning when you looked into the mirror. Self. Our greatest enemy, perhaps, is self. It's the flesh. The Bible says if we walk after the flesh, we fulfill the lust of the flesh, don't we? But if we walk after the Spirit, then we do what God wants us to do. Amen. And folk, all of us have that two natures. We've got the old man, as Brother Enrique pointed out this morning in Sunday school, that's a liar. The old man. The flesh. But then we yield to the Spirit, or we should. Look at King David. He's an example of one that walked after the flesh. Had everything that a heart could wish for. But he looked over one day and he saw another man's wife, Bathsheba, taking a bath. She was beautiful. He looked. He took. Y'all know the story. The natural man is tempted because he's of the flesh. You know, God made a woman beautiful, and to me, the women's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. But he made us guys be attracted to one, didn't he? Or all of them, matter of fact, for that matter. But that can be a man's downfall, you know? It was David's. David had victors over the giant Goliath. He took a little old slingshot. when he took his own sword from Goliath and he put him out, didn't he? So God gave David victory as a boy, as a young man. And then along comes a lion. David grabs that lion and he kills him with his hands. And then a bear. So he whipped a lion and a bear with his hands and Goliath with a slingshot. 